हेलो एवरी वन सो वी आर ग्रुप नंबर ट्वेल्व फ्रॉम सी डिविजन एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द टॉपिक एम ए आर एंड एम डी आर रजिस्टर एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन इन द रीड एंड राइट ऑपरेशन ऑफ मेमरी सो लेट्स बिगिन सो नाउ यू ऑल वुड हैव अ क्वेश्चन दैट वॉट आर रजिस्टर्स बेसिकली रजिस्टर्स आर अ फंडामेंटल कंपोनेंट ऑफ अ कंप्यूटर्स सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट and are typically built directly into the cpu chip during the manufacturing process in general they are high speed memory storage unit within a computer cpu they are used to store temporary data and instruction that the cpu needs to access quickly the size of a register refers to the number of bits it can store registers can be of different sizes like 16 bit 32 bit 64 bit etc and these sizes can vary depending on the specific cpu architecture and the intended use of cpu accumulator is the main register in the alu and it stores the results of the arithmetic and logic operations so now let's move on to the next slide so now as you can see this is the picture of the registers within a cpu a cpu typically contains several types of registers that are used for different purposes as you can see in the picture these are some of the most common registers found within the cpu the first one is program counter program counter is a register that holds the memory address of the next instruction to be executed the next one is instruction register instruction register holds the memory address of the current instruction being executed the next is program status word program status word register contains flags and status information about the current state of the cpu the next one is general purpose register general purpose register can be used for any purpose and are typically used to hold operands or temporary data during the execution of instruction now as you can see there are two more registers that is mbr and mar mb mbr that is memory buffer register acts as a buffer between the cpu and memory allowing data to be transferred at a more efficient rate the next one that is memory address register when cpu needs to read or write data in memory it places the memory address of the data into mar the mar then sends the memory address to memory unit which retrieves the data from the specified memory location and returns it to the cpu so this was all about the introduction what is mar register mar stands for memory address register it is the type of register that can be used to hold the data that is being read from or written to the memory when the processor needs to read or write the data it first sends the memory address of the data to the mar the mar then communicates with the memory controller to retrieve or modify the data stored at that location this data is then transferred to or from the processor via data bus in summary mar is used to specify the memory location to read from overall mar plays an essential role in overall performance and functionality of the computer system so this was about mar register now next teammate will explain further so what is mdr register mdr or uh, mdr or the memory data register is the component of the computer architecture that plays a circular role in the data transfer between the cpu and memory it is a register that holds the data that is the breathing transferred to from the memory and the cpu is the need of the read data from the memory or write data to memory it is second the memory address to memory is controller 
and the similar similar then the cpu need the right data to memory is place the data in the mdr and here is the mdr is used to hold data that read from the location use of mar and mdr in write operation when the cpu needs to write data to memory it places the data in the mdr and sends the memory address to the memory controller the memory controller then writes the data from the mdr to the specified memory location in a write operation of memory the cpu first loads the data to be written into the mdr the address of the memory location where the data should be written is stored in mar the cpu then use the address in the mar to identify the memory location and transfer the data from the mdr to that location in a memory the cpu sends a write command to the memory controller which instructs the memory to write the data from the mdr to the memory location specified in the mar this is the diagram of the mdr and mar write operation the mar and mdr work together in a write operation by holding the memory address and data to be written respectively the cpu first loads the mar with the memory address then loads the data to be written into the mdr and finally sends a write command to the memory controller to complete the write operation So now we come to very important topic that is use of MAR and MDR in a read operation. All the registers such as program counter, instruction register, accumulator are important in a read operation. But MAR and MDR are two important components in the read operation of memory. So first of all, CPU sends memory address to the memory, but it is stored temporarily in the MAR that is memory address register because as we know registers are a temporary memory unit and they receive data. and then this data is held in them as per the requirement further memory receives ad address from mar register and then it uses this address to locate memory cell that contains data to be read furthermore this data is then transferred to mdr while it is been sent back to cpu from memory finally the cpu then reads the data from the mdr and uses it for processing once the data has been read the mar and mdr are cleared and are ready for the next read operation so as i mentioned earlier in the previous slides that cpu sends memory address to the memory but in this process it is first stored in the mar register however this address is then transferred to the memory with the help of address bus then then this data is transferred to the mdr with the help of data bus while it is sent back to the cpu now data from mdr which is sent to cpu via data bus will be tracked down by the program counter and then it will decide to execute which program next accordingly and whichever data or instruction will be executed it will be stored by default in the ir that is instruction register and finally when the entire result is calculated it will be stored in the accumulator register and that is how all the registers that is program counter instruction register accumulator play a very important role in the read operation of memory so thank you guys for listening patiently to us and if you like this video then please like share and subscribe and if you have any questions then please ask them in the comment box thank you